Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we are going to take a cozy little walk to the park. So today I decided that I'm going to take my dog on a little bit of a longer walk. We're going to walk all the way to one of our local parks because tomorrow she's going to go into her vet to get a tooth extraction, which I'm not going to talk too much about because if I do, I'll probably cry because I feel extremely nervous about the whole thing. And I feel really bad that she has had this tooth that is bothering her and that she's going to have to go in all by herself to get removed tomorrow. So we're not going to focus on that. So because of that, because she's going to be recovering for a couple of weeks, I decided that we would take a whole day today to just enjoy ourselves. So I'm going to walk her to the park and I decided to bring you along with me because aside from my dog, my book is going to be the one keeping me company. I am currently reading Before We Were Innocent by Ella Berman, which is this sort of like literary thriller slash literary suspense is not exactly that thrilling it's more of like a reflection on something that happened when our main character was younger because when our main character was graduating college she went on a trip to greece with two of her friends however only two of them came back because during this trip the one that did not come back was killed we don't know exactly what happened. I'm assuming we're going to figure out as the story goes through. However, what we do know is that our main character and the other friend that didn't pass away were under a lot of scrutiny after this crime took place and a lot of people felt like they were responsible for what happened, especially because they were very different from this girl that died because this girl that died was this like angelic, pure perfect sort of girl and the two girls that survived were more of like teenagers who were getting into drinking and were a little bit like interested in meeting people and having relationships and considered boy crazy. So we are following duo timelines. We go back and forth in time, but we're mainly following our main character in 2018. And she has tried to just like go off the grid. Since everything that happened, she doesn't really want anyone to really know where she is. She doesn't want to be bothered by media. She doesn't want uh, people to really know who she is, even because she is so tied to that crime that happened in Greece. However, one day she's just at home minding her own business when the doorbell rings and she's very surprised to open the door and see her other friend, the one that came back with her from the trip. And she's there to ask her for a favor. She feels like she cannot say no. However, this favor involves lying and involves the disappearance of another woman. So... This is obviously extremely triggering for our main character and we're just trying to piece together what happened then and what is happening now at the same time, which sounds extremely thrilling, but this book really is more literary than anything else. So we're just reflecting, we are slowly unfolding everything that happened and also watching this character come to terms with a lot of the trauma that she has experienced but never addressed. So this is the book that I will be taking with me to the park. However, I will be taking this book on my Kindle because I don't feel like damaging this. I have a copy here, so I am going to throw my Kindle into my bag and that's how I'm going to be reading at the park. So we are gonna get going because it is 45 minutes for us to get there. It is currently 1.03, so we'll probably be getting there around two with all of just like water breaks and stuff like that. So welcome to the vlog. Thank you for joining us and I hope this is as cozy and as wholesome as I'm picturing it in my head. A quick little what's in my bag. I really feel like Marie from Breaking Bad who is obsessed with purple because I have my hand sanitizer here which is lavender, my wallet, lavender, my water bottle, lavender. We also have a bag of treats in case my dog just needs a little tiny little snack on the way. Some snacks for myself her water bowl that I can pop open whenever she needs water. Of course, my Kindle is right there. I got some candy as well. 
And I believe that's everything we need to get going. Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Yeah? <laughs> she is more than ready, so let's get going. So my dog and I have been here for about an hour. We got here at around 2 like I planned and it's pretty much 3 p.m. now. She played a little bit at the beginning but now I think she's starting to get kind of over it just because there's this trail uh, in this park that we usually take but it's closed unfortunately for maintenance today and I think she was really hoping she would get to go on it. I also hope you can hear me because it's so freaking loud in here. So, I don't know, I don't think we're going to be here for much longer just because I don't know if she's loving her time at the moment. Um, just because I think she's a little bored. She also keeps checking the gate because I think she thinks my fiancé is coming because usually we come here together, so I think she's looking for him. But, good exercise. She had fun at the beginning. She's just exploring and sniffing around right now, but... I don't know how much fun she's actually having. I also haven't filmed or read that much yet because it was so busy when I first got here. There were so many dogs so I kept just having to check to make sure that she was behaving herself and all that kind of stuff and then there was just a lot of people around so I didn't really, I don't know, focus on my book. So yeah, so far it's been just a relaxing afternoon. Uh, it's still nice to be out, it's still nice just to let her be in nature for a little bit and just enjoying herself, but I also hope this angle is not too weird. This the first time I actually talk to the camera outside of my house, so baby steps. Was it all just a dream, just all in my head? Floating rivers upstream the things that you said Tell me and be honest Tell me did you know That you would be leaving me just like the winners know Tell me and be honest Tell me should I know That you'd be leaving me So painfully quiet and slow I try my best to So this just happened to my Kindle. It fell in the mud. Good thing I have hand sanitizer and some tissues with me. <laughs> the problem is for me. It's 3.21 and I think we're about to go home, huh? I think she's ready and we'll beat the traffic like as we walk. One part of our walk is like in a slightly busier road. So I just want to beat rush hour as we walk past there. We're only there for like three minutes, thankfully. So it's not that long, but just make sure it's not too crazy while we leave. And I think she is about ready. She keeps trying to go back to the ball, but I think she's too shy to actually play with it. So I'm gonna see if she wants to run around a little bit more, but then we will probably be going home. Hello everyone. As you can tell, it is a couple of days later and I just wanted to come here and close off this vlog. I also wanted to say that my dog had her surgery and everything went perfectly well and she's recovering well too. So I'm really happy and relieved about that. But I also wanted to come here and update that I finished reading Before We Were Innocent by Ella Berman. So I thought I'd give a quick like recap and review of this book before I close things off. I thought this book was 
good, but um, I don't think it's perfect. I don't entirely know exactly how I feel about it. I know for a fact that I wasn't like obsessed and like really, really loving this book, but I also feel like I wasn't disliking my reading experience. And to be honest, when I wasn't reading this book, I was thinking about the characters in the story and I have thought about it since finishing it, which I feel like goes to show that there was something to the story that stayed with me, uh, but I don't think it was exactly what I was expecting. I feel like there were things that I wish were explained a little bit more in this book, and I also feel like there were things that didn't make a ton of sense within the story. There were some inconsistencies that we never really got answers to, but maybe that was the point that the author was trying to make. And I also feel like if you do pick this book up, especially if like me, you're like in your late 20s, I'm 29 years old. So reading this, a lot of the choices and the decisions that the characters were making felt extremely immature. But I had to take a step back and think of what I would have done when I was their age. And I feel like I wouldn't have done things too differently from them and I feel like that's really the great experience of reading this book is being able to take a step back from being an adult who thankfully things have gone right to in life but being able to recognize that you could have been in the shoes that these characters are in if things hadn't gone right. And I'm sure we all can look back to things that we did when we were younger that could have gone so bad. And I realized after reading this book that growing up and going through my teenage years and my young adult year, a lot of the times I just got lucky that things did not go wrong. And it was a good experience to like force myself to step away from being extremely judgmental and from like having this idea that this could have never happened to me because I wasn't like these girls and I wouldn't have done things the way that they did. But I don't actually know because when I think back to being 16, 17, 18 years old, I was not the smartest and I was not the greatest of friends a lot of times and that's just part of growing up. So this was a good portrayal of girlhood into womanhood into growing up and owning up to your own choices and having accountability but also learning how to forgive yourself especially your younger self and having more compassion for yourself as well and for your friends because we tend to judge ourselves very harshly but I feel like a lot of times we judge other people very harshly as well because we are judging them from the lenses of our experiences and we don't actually know what it's like to be them and this book was a good practice to allow me to do that even though I don't feel like it is a perfect book and even though I don't think this book is going to be for everyone especially if you go in with the mentality of reading a thriller or solving a murder or finding answers to this mystery that happened years in the past I feel like you're not really going to encounter this in this book but rather what you will encounter is a reflection on girlhood womanhood and self-acceptance which I enjoyed I gave this three and a half stars and I think that's a very fair um, rating. So that was Before We Were Innocent by Ella Berman. But if you have watched this video until this moment, thank you so much for watching it till the end. Thank you for joining me on my little adventure to the park with my dog and I will see you on my next one. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like to see more of me because I will be posting a lot more content in the future and I will be more than happy to have you here. <laughs> thank you again and I'll see you on my next one. Bye bye.